If your Wi-Fi password is as confusing as ours, you'll know how frustrating it is to try and remember it when people come over. Hi guys, Ashley here with 3D Whip. In today's video, we will be making a custom 3D printed QR code for our Wi-Fi network. The QR code will let guests easily connect to your Wi-Fi using their smartphones. The Wi-Fi name and QR code are 3D printed and glued to the picture frame glass that has been painted white. This frame can then be placed anywhere for guests to notice and connect to your network easily. So what are QR codes? QR codes are a type of square barcode which contains information such as web address or a person's contact information. They store information using black and white squares which can be read by any smartphone. The technology was first developed in Japan for use in the automotive industry to track vehicles and parts during the manufacturing process. QR codes are often quicker to use than manually typing links or text on your smartphone. Some common uses of QR codes include links to downloadable apps, links to websites, authenticate online accounts, access Wi-Fi connections, send and receive payment information, and many more. To create our custom QR codes, we will be using the simple web tool. The link will be down in the description. The web tool is created by Felix and it lets us create custom codes for text and URL links, Wi-Fi password, pre-generated email structure, contact or business card information, as well as pre-generated SMSs. The tool has a preview window to preview the generated STL file. It also allows us to save between a binary or an ASCII file format. And we can also separate the parts if we have a multi-material printer. To create the Wi-Fi QR code, we're going to go under the Wi-Fi option tab. Under this tab, we're going to enter our SSID. This is the name of our network. In my case, it's Buzzinger. Under the password tab, you will enter your Wi-Fi network password. Under security, we have three options to select from. We have the WPA, WPE or no password security key options. In most cases and most commonly used, the option for WPA is used. So we will be selecting that. If your network is hidden, you would select this tab. In my case, it's not, so I will not be selecting this. Error correction, you can sort of change between low, medium, or high, depending on the accuracy. In most cases, we can just leave it as 15% or the default. In creating the 3D model for our QR code, we have three options. The base, the QR code itself, and then a border. In my case, I'll be selecting a rounded rectangle. You have between a rectangle or a rounded rectangle to choose from. In terms of the width, you can specify any size. In my case, I'll be using 80 millimeter. The depth will be how thick the actual base of the QR code would be. So in my case, we will leave it at three millimeters. The corner radius is five, and this is based on the rounded rectangle option that we selected. Under the QR code section, we're going to leave it, um, we're not going to select this, we're going to go under depth and we're going to make this 2 millimeters. So this is how thick the QR portion of the model would be. The margin would be part of the actual border. The block size, we'll leave this at 100%. This, show, this option allows us to create various different block sizes. If we leave it at 100%, it will have continuous lines. If we change the percentage, we will have various different squares or blocks generated. Under the border option, I'll leave this as 2 millimeters width. In terms of the depth, I'm going to change this to 2 millimeters so that it matches the QR code depth. We can generate the 3D model and in our preview window we will get to see the actual STL of the QR code. To save, we go and select save as STL, takes a few seconds to download. 
once it's downloaded we have our STL file and we can import this to our slicer and then slice the model for 3d printing a quick tip if you have a single nozzle 3d printer you will have to switch between materials so you would start with a white material for the base and then move over to the black material in this case as you see the depth of two millimeters that would imply that at two millimeters your black material would start in terms of the base we have a thickness of three millimeters which is from here this point to there and that would be printed in white and you can select the options in your slicing software to allow you to print the two colors using one nozzle